I want you to stop wasting time adding plugins one by one to your Pro Tools session. Instead, I want you to use the recall track preset function of Pro Tools. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So instead of on this vocal track, adding each plugin individually, you know, Pro Q, okay, let's go Soothe 2, even with the search function, MC404, takes too long. I don't want to waste that much time, right? Adding all my plugins one by one. Instead, why don't I use the recall function of Pro Tools to bring in my entire vocal chain within just a few clicks, including sends. All I got to do is right click on the track that I want to recall. I go recall track preset and I find my preset here, Jace lead and boom. Now all my plugins are there within just a few clicks. Let me show you how to set that up. What is up everyone, Jacob here with another weekly video with tips and tricks to help you record better, mix better and work better. This week we're going to be covering a little bit of a technical thing in Pro Tools that you can use to save you tons and tons of time and that is the track recall function of Pro Tools. What this function does is it allows you to take an existing track with all its plugins, all of its sends and save it as a recallable track preset. And you can use this for vocal tracks, you can use this for guitar tracks, you can use this for your master bus processing, pretty much anything. And it's gonna save you from adding plugins one at a time. Because a guy like me, I know what plugins I like on what kinds of instruments. Now the plugins are obviously gonna be tweaked differently depending on the source, of course, but I know off the top of my head, I'm always gonna be reaching for the same plugins. You know, the FabFilter Pro Q, I'm gonna be reaching for the Soothe 2, maybe the Gulf Foss EQ, I'm gonna be reaching for the SSL EQ maybe, my favorite compressor. And instead of even with the search function, adding them one at a time, I could just use a track preset and boom, within a few clicks, I have everything ready. So I gave you the example earlier, if I wanted to add each plugin individually, you know, I could still do, do that pretty fast using the search function, but it's too long. I wanna save that extra 30 seconds, two minutes or whatever it might be, and just load it all up in one shot. And to set that up, it's super easy. All you have to do is grab a track that you know these are the plugins you like on your vocal or on your guitars or on whatever instrument. You know you like these plugins, you wanna save it as a recall to save you the time. All I have to do is grab the track that's populated with all the plugins and it'll even save all the settings of the plugin so you already have a good starting point. All you have to do is go to the track that's already all populated with your plugins, right click on it, go save track preset, Pick a folder that you want to save it in. You can add categories like your own custom categories for different types of genres or whatever it is. I'm pretty simple. I just dump it all in the same folder. I name it properly. This artist's name is Jace. I'm going to call this Jace Chorus Vocal. I'm going to save that. And now it's saved in Avid's own folder. And so now on this track right next to it, I have this verse. It only has the auto-tune on it. We can listen to it, see what it sounds like. Sounds fine, you know, sounds great, but I want to populate it with all the plugins that I'm going to be using to tweak this vocal. All I got to do, right click on that track, recall track preset, it's in the Avid folder, Jace Chorus Vocal. Click on that, and boom, all my plugins are there. Everything's there with the exact same settings that it was saved with. even saves all the sends, so I have some parallel vocal processing that gets saved with that as well. I have a reverb that's already saved there with its level send and everything. Sidechain vocal preset that's already set up. Everything just loads in a matter of a few clicks and it saves me so much time. And I really recommend you start using this just to speed up your workflow. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a very short video showing you this super awesome hack that could save you tons of time over the course of your life of mixing. And you can even use this for track presets for you know, your recording sessions, you can use this uh, in your mixing for your vocals. Like, like I said, your vocals, your, your guitars, your mix bus, your parallel processing chains, whatever you want. It's a function that's there to save you time. And that's it for this week's video. Very short one. But before I leave you, I want to tell you about something really cool. If you have not downloaded it yet, I want you to go pick up my free ebook on being a recording studio ninja. In this ebook, I cover five main principles that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to keep my clients happy, keep them coming back and 
through word of mouth and spectacular service that I offer, bring new clients through the door. Again, I want you to have it. It's absolutely free. Go to www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash ninja. Go pick that up. And also before you go, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram, TikTok at mixwithjacob. And I will see you next week. Peace. Thank you.